Hi, Lori here with Chapter 13. We're going to talk about marketing today, and marketing is helping the buyer buy. Pretty straightforward. I think you can remember that. Okay, evolution of marketing. Four eras. The production era, where they already want it. So we don't need to build a need within the consumer or anything. Um, they can't get enough of whatever it is we're producing. This is back in the beginning of the industrial age. And so basically any product that we can produce, they would want to buy, assuming they can afford it. Two, we want to push them into buying. That would be the selling era. Then the market concept era, which is where we market it right and they will want to buy it. That's the concept behind that one. And we are finally in the customer relationships era now, which is we need to get to know each other, then the customer will buy. Uh, difference between CRM, which is customer um, relationship management, and CMR, which is customer managed relationship. And so the idea is moving from CRM to CMR, where the customer is more in the driver's seat. All right. Next, we have marketing mix in the four P's. Let's see if we can get a little bit further down here. Those four P's are price, product, distribution or place, and promotion. Many books um, simply say that the P is silent in distribution, so that's how you remember it. But uh, this book likes to re point it out as place. And both businesses and nonprofits need to use marketing for various reasons, which the book details. Marketing process. You need to find opportunities, conduct research, identify a target market, design a product to meet the need, then do product testing. That's all in one through five is the product portion. Then we determine a brand name, a package, and price. That would be the um, pricing portion. Then we select a distribution system. That's the third one, which is place. Third one, which is place. Third, place. And then we need to build a relationship. Uh, we need to design a promotional program. That's the promotion, fourth P. And we build a relationship with the customers, and that's also under promotion. Hanging with me? Good. All right, market research process. You define the question, the problem, or the opportunity. You need to assess the current situation. You want to collect data, then analyze the data. There should be a dot in front of analyze. Choose the best solution, implement it, and then look back to see how you did. This last step is often skipped, and from a marketing standpoint, it's one of the most important things you can do. Data, two types, secondary and primary. Secondary means someone else collected it, and your using the data that's, that um, has been provided to analyze it and try and find some opportunities. Primary means you went out and collected the data yourself directly from the customer. You can collect your data using surveys, which are um, quantitative measures. You can also do qualitative research, which include interviews, focus groups, or you can do ethnographic research, which means you actually observe the product in use. And um, Kevin Shane was doing a lot of that when he was going out to the slums and watching how people were actually using or not using, as the case may be, toilets. All right, marketing environment. There are five things here that we need to think about when we're thinking about the marketing environment. They are global, technological, sociological, I'm sorry, sociocultural, competitive, and economic. Um, you also need to be aware that there are two types of customers. Consumers, that's the end user, or and uh, businesses, which are referred to as B2B, business to business um, marketing. Thank you. Next, we're going to do market segmentation types. There are several. Geographic, that's by where people are located. Demographic, which would be older users, younger people, women, children, that sort of thing. Psychographic is based on the characteristics of the people. Benefit-based, which is uh, what the product does for the people, and volume or usage-based. You might find a different marketing technique is needed for people who are heavy users of a product versus those that are light. So, for instance, if you're marketing a beer and you want to reach out to the people who drink a lot of beer, that advertising, that promotion, even that pricing and the product might be very different than what you're going to offer to people uh, like me who enjoy a beer every now and then but probably would not be considered your heavy users. Um, this little graphic is moving from lower to higher levels of relationship marketing. It began with mass marketing, then it moved to niche marketing, and now we are in a phase of one-to-one -one marketing. That's not to say that all three of these kinds of research, uh, marketing don't still happen, but the tendency um, in marketing literature right now is that one-to-one uh, -one marketing, whenever possible, is the best way to reach your customer. Okay.
Moving right along. Customer decision process. This one's pretty easy. Here we go. Problem recognition. You need to understand what's the problem. Then you look for information about the problem. You evaluate and possible solutions. You evaluate your alternatives. You make a purchase decision. Um, and then you need most consumers do a post decision analysis and that can, this can be formal or informal. Most um, end users do it more informally, but business to business customers probably do do a, po a formal post decision analysis. Um, I did want to note that this decision process works for both consumers and B2B, just that B2B is more sophisticated and they're more powerful in the relationship. They have a lot more to say about um, than just a single consumer would in the product and pricing and distribution of your product. And also, they are much more attuned to personal selling. Relationships really matter in B2B. Book does not make the point that both types of um, customers use this decision mo making model or purchase decision making model. And finally, influences on the buyer's decision. Well, of course, you have the four P's, which we've talked about, and those are price, promotion. Oh, no, let's go price. Product, let's start with product, price, distribution or place, and then promotion. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep it in the same order so that you guys can memorize it. And we'll be doing exercises in class with that the same way. Sociocultural influences, situational influences, and psychological influences. We will be doing something with this in class, so we're not going to spend a lot of time in, in the video. I'm going to ask that you write down your question, your connection, and your aha, and bring it in. Um, to class tomorrow, and we'll find a way to get you extra credit for that. Thanks so much. Have a good day.